Welcome back, everyone. Lovely to have you here on Wednesday's House of Games. Four famous faces playing all week for this trophy right here. We've had a two-time winner already, but it's very, very close yesterday. Our players this week are Mr. Craig Doyle. Hello. Baroness Tandy Gray-Thompson. Leo Wright. Hello. And Dr. Anne-Maria Maffedon. Hello, one had all. Leo, two wins. I know. They pushed you all the way last time. I know, and I feel like the knives are coming out. I see them. I see them looking at me. Yeah, but for good reason. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, for good reason. Yeah. I'm gorgeous. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Soak it up. What, what else are they going to look yeah. at, right? What else are they going to look at? Craig? Yeah, honestly. Yeah. I mean, uh, come on. Anne-Marie, a very, very strong day the first day. Yesterday, slightly quieter. Today's the day we take him down, right? Maybe. <laughs> oh, that's that's more terrifying. scary than, uh, than anything she could have said. Yeah, terrifying stuff. Wow. Craig, you did play well yesterday. I'm going to do what Anne-Marie did and see if it's scary. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> no, it's, come on. That's Maybe. Not... No, you can't do it. Maybe. Oh, that's actually quite scary. Yeah, yeah OK. He's so strong uh, on the smash it. Bit. Yeah, he, he's a... Yeah. But Tanny, Tanny, you were great on the answer smash last time. You got the first three in a row. Yeah, and just... I mean, I helped having a sports round as well. But, you know, that, that might have been my peak. I love the fact you, you got all the sports questions, mm. Leo got all the stationary questions. <laughs> <laughs> you think, nice, guys. Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard, shall we? Leo, of course, is up the top of that. We can see that with uh, eight points there. But all to play for still. We've got double points Friday coming up as well. Should we look at today's prizes? They look like this. You could be walking away with a deck Ooh. chair, a water bottle, scented candle, a cushion, or a birdhouse. Craig Doyle, what do you think? Oh, it's deck chair, isn't it? You're going deck chair? All day. All day mm. long. Tanny? Deck chair. Deck yeah. chair. Leo? I think maybe bottle to, to go with the flask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you need a bottle and a flask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Anne Marie, what would you go for? <laughs> The deck chair. You go for the deck chair. <laughs> Excellent. It was slightly less enthusiastic as, as another it's people's like deck chair. But listen, gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, we're getting to understand that's the way we need to approach you, Anne-Marie, in this show. I get it. I know you'd enjoy the deck chair if you won it. I know that for a fact. Probably, yeah. Oh, she wouldn't. <laughs> she wouldn't enjoy it. That's not true. They always... They just, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> 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 oh, good. I literally can't wait for the day when you do win. <laughs> and just the disappointment of having over your prize. I have to wait quite a while. Yeah. Have, oh, Leo, have you just going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we get on play Wednesday's House of Games? Uh, Leo's won the first two. Is he going to win three in a row? Let's find out. We start with the answers in the question. Craig, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to give you a category which is artists. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question about an artist. There's some capital letters in the question and the answer would also be an anagram of those capital letters, OK? So who is this artist, please? If you had a self-imposed sky ban and only travelled by foot, you may see this artist's paintings on public walls. Banksy. Banksy? That was easier than you thought it was going to be. Yeah, thank yeah. goodness, because the stress <laughs> level was high. When I explained to you, <laughs> Did you see know. the blank yeah. over it? Yeah. And you're like, oh, no, good, that, that I can do. <laughs> uh, Tanny, I have an artist for you as well. The work of this Dutch master cannot be summed up by a single art term. Brand him a Baroque painter if you like, but he developed his own unique style. <sighs> Anagram of I know. term brand. <gasps> and Marie's on the buzzer. <gasps> Look at those letters. And they, it's, it's virtually spelt out. Do you know, I can't see it. No, should we time you out? We've got a buzzer right now. Do you know, I, I, yeah. Um, uh, uh, no, I can't see it at all. Oh, that's really bad. OK, we'll time really you out. Simple. We'll have a buzzer race. <laughs> <laughs> Marie? Rembrandt. Rembrandt. Rembrandt, we were looking for. It is Rembrandt. It. No, it's yeah. it difficult, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, with anagrams, if it, yeah. unless it comes like that. Yeah. It never Come does. It. Leo, I have an artist for you. But which artist? Born in the 16th century, this Italian artist depicted biblical scenes in paintings so violent and gruesome they're likely to leave a vicar agog. Ooh. Caravaggio. Oh. Caravaggio. It's a beauty. I got that one. It is Caravaggio. He's likely to leave a vicar agog, Caravaggio. Mm. Some of the stuff he In a lot to. of ways. Yeah, in so many ways. <laughs> Actually, loads of ways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vicars were permanently agog in Caravaggio's day. Anne-Marie, I have an artist for you. 
Fancy a 131 foot long fresco on your ceiling? He'll magic one up for you. Michelangelo. Michelangelo. He will magic one up for you, absolutely. Um, Craig, back to you. Forget artists now. We are looking for film mm. musicals. But which film musicals are these? When a bank holiday's weather is less than dry, a family favourite on the TV is this Audrey Hepburn Rex Harrison classic. I mean, I know it. My Fair Lady. Is the correct answer, Craig. Very well done. Tanny. Oh. I have a... You're not getting this wrong. OK. Seriously? What it okay. Is, but I'm, not, I'm not allowing you to get it wrong. OK. Um, what is this film musical? In this classic, a sign-up film star might, with some training, shine in a new world of talking pictures. Ah, oh, silent film star. Wow, that's hard. Al Johnson. Is that... Am I in the right...? No. No, oh... Someone just told me what it is. Can I have My Fair Lady? <laughs> Can I have My Fair Lady? I think it's easier if you just don't look at the last... Yeah. That's what I'm trying not to do, yeah. In this classic, silent film star might... some... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, terrible weather. <laughs> Let's cheer ourselves up. <laughs> With some music. Oh, um... Um... In the rain. Um, singing in the rain. Singing in the rain? <laughs> it is singing in the rain. That was gorgeous. Leo, I have a film yes. musical for you. Great. But which film musical <laughs> is it? If you want extra clues or a hint to get to the title of this musical, I can tell you it's also the name of a fairground ride. Uh, carousel. Carousel. Ooh. You'll never walk alone. It is Carousel. Well done. Have you heard of that musical? Yeah, I don't think I like it. Okay. Carousel, I, I, we went to see it at the... Uh, they, they did it in Regents. We did? Yes, you and me. We went to see it. Yeah, we went to see it. Uh, and, yeah, I remember you didn't like it. I hate <laughs> it. I loved it. Regent's Park Open Air. Yeah, Regent's Park Open Air. Yeah. Exactly. That's really good. Uh, Anne-Marie, I have a film musical for you, but which one? If this 2018 film strikes your brain as sort of familiar, it might be because it's the fourth adaptation of the same story. A Star is Born? A Star is Born? <laughs> absolutely right. A Star is Born. Well done. It's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our scoreboard, shall we? Tanny, you have won. Leo and Craig, two points each. Anne-Marie in the lead with three. So Anne-Marie has an early lead as we move into our pairs game, which is... You spell terrible. Tanny, you get to choose your partner in this round. Who would you like to play with? I could pick Leo, so i bring him down. <laughs> is that really malicious and horrible? I mean, it's a, certainly a very clever way of saying I'd like to play with Leo. <laughs> I think you're covering I'm, up. I'm just going to stay with Craig. Oh, but, stay yeah, with no, Craig. Oh, Tanny, right. Tanny, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring sorry. Tanny I'm, and Craig yeah. are a team. Yeah. Leo and It was good to know that you had the intention to bring me down. Yes. Even, and, and then also didn't choose me. <laughs> <laughs> Tanny, I've learned over the years on the show, is a professional sports person, right? She is thinking, how do I get to partner with Leo and still make it sound like I'm a good person? <laughs> is, what, is what she was trying to do there. Yeah. Don't think I didn't notice. <laughs> um, now, in this round, I'm going to uh, ask you a question. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. You buzz in and give me a correct answer. If it is correct, I will then ask your partner to spell that word. Ooh. And you oh. only get a point if they spell it correctly. Oh, gosh. OK, here is your first one. What does the B stand for in the name of the US law enforcement agency known as the FBI? Yes, Anne-Marie. Bureau. Bureau is correct for a point, Leo. Spell Bureau. B-U. R. E-A-U. Nice. There we go. Lovely. Bureau. Point to Anne-Marie so, and Leo. I'm so proud of you, Leo. Next question. Which flat, open-textured bread takes its name from the Italian word for slipper? Yes, Anne-Marie. Bruschetta. Bruschetta? is incorrect, I'm afraid. Sorry. Craig. Focaccia. Focaccia oh. is also incorrect. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a huge relief for that. Yes. Uh, must be ciabatta, mustn't it? That's the other one. Yeah. Ciabatta. Next question. Which element classified as a halogen on the periodic table has the chemical symbol F? 
Yes, Craig. I'm going to say phosphorus because they phosphorus sometimes do that. Is and it's incorrect. a hard difficult spelling. Oh. Anyone want to buzz in? That's it. Yes, Leo. Fluoride. Fluoride. Fluorine. We were looking Fluorine. for. I'm afraid. Fluorine. Next question. What is the medical name for the voice box? Yes, Leo. Larynx. Larynx is correct. Anne-Marie, for the point, can you spell larynx? L-A-R-Y-N-X. Y-N-X is correct. Another point. Why was I doubting Dang myself so much? I had that at the beginning. In my head, I was thinking it was esophagus. I thought, oh, no, here we no. go. <laughs> uh, next question. The Palm d'Or Prize is awarded at which film festival held in the city on the French Riviera? Yes, Anne-Marie. Can. Correct, Leo. Spell can. C-A-N-N-E-S. Yeah, that feels, that feels surprisingly <laughs> easy for the sounds. There you go. It is can. Well done. Next question. What is the surname of the Canadian singer Avril who had UK top ten hits with Skater Boy and Complicated? That is Leo. Levine. Levine is correct. Anne-Marie, for the point, can you spell Levine? L-A-V-I-G-N-E. G-N-E is correct. What a team up there. It's so quick. Final question in this round. Which Australian kingfisher, also known as a laughing jackass, is the subject of a song by Marion Sinclair? Leo. Kookaburra. Kookaburra is correct. Oh, good luck, Anne-Marie. Uh, for the point, can you spell Kookaburra? K-O-O-K-A... <sighs> B-U-R-A. Whoa, well played. Very nicely done, Kookaburra. And that's the end wow. of that round. No Great idea. round there for Leo and Anne-Marie. Let's take a look at what it's done to the leaderboards. Tanny, you've got one. Craig, you've got two. Leo with seven. Anne-Marie is our leader with eight points. Three rounds to go on Wednesday's House of Games. Can she hold on? Is Leo going to take another one? Let's find out. There's two way things on buzzers, please. Uh, I'm going to show you three clues. You just have to buzz in and tell me what connects those clues. OK, but I'm going to be revealing them letter by letter. So you'll see more and more of the words as they uh, appear from Z up to A. So what connects these three words, please? What connects these three clues? Yes, Tanny. Uh, gymnastic equipment. Absolutely right. Yeah, the uneven bars, the rings and the pommel horse. What connects these three clues, please? Yes, Craig. I'm, um, um, oh, uh, Line of Duty. <laughs> Characters from the Line oh, of Duty? Yeah. That's it, you're right, Ted Hastings, <laughs> Steve Arnott and Kate Fleming. Next three. <laughs> yes, Leo. A facial hair. Facial hair? It is mutton chops, goatee and moustache. Sharing the points out in this round. Next one. <laughs> yes, Emery. Words for the toilet. Words for the toilet. We really are sharing the points out. It's one for everyone so far. The lavatory, water closet, and dunny. Next one. What connects these three clues? I was just turning around to see if uh, Britain's leading <laughs> rugby presenter was getting this. <laughs> no. Uh, Tanny. Oh. Uh, rugby positions. 
Yeah, they are rugby <laughs> positions. <laughs> How many years have you been the face of, of rugby? Literally only, like, 16 years. Yeah. So, you know, it takes a while to learn this stuff, right? It really uh, does. Uh, now, a wing, that's someone who plays plays right on the outside. It's usually, it's usually someone quite fast, scores a lot of tries. Correct. OK. No, I'm, I'm yeah. letting you know. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just confirming yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Oh, play Tammy. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Well Nicely stolen. Next three. <laughs> Yes, Leo. Um, is it? No, it's not. Sorry, Richard Curtis it's not films. straight away. It is not Richard mm. Curtis films. Oh. Yes, Tanny. Uh, Sandra Bullock films. Sandra Bullock films. No. It is not. I'm afraid. Oh. Certainly, someone's. Oh. Amory. It's British film. Classic British films. It is not. I'm afraid. Mm. Afraid. <laughs> Hugh Grant films? Hugh Grant films? Yeah. You see, when you get him on Hugh Grant instead of rugby, he's very good. <laughs> if only those two worlds would collide. You have to find, you have <laughs> to find his speciality. <laughs> Final question in this round, what connects these? Yes, Anne-Marie. Songs by the village people. Songs by the village people. In the Navy, go Western YMCA. Lovely end to the round. Well played. Three rounds down on Wednesday's House of Games. How are we looking? Share the points out between everyone there. Tanny, you've got three. Craig, you've got four. Leo has got eight. That lead is just inching up. Anne-Marie with ten points. And two rounds still to go. Are we going to have a different champion today? Let's find out as we play round four. The nice round. Now, Craig, what you need to do is guess the name of a children's book, OK? And the way you're going to do it is the other three will take out their tablets, they will see the name of that book, and they're going to give you a one-word clue to it, OK? So you'll have three clues. If you get it right, I'll give you a point. Uh, you will then also give a point to the person who gives you the best clue. OK. Oh. That's why it's the nice round. It is nice. Because they want to be nice Thank to you. you and you want to give them a point. OK. And with the obvious caveat that certain people you're not going to give a point to. Because <laughs> 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 nice brackets, not that nice. Oh, gosh. Uh, so children's book, you'll see the name on your screen. You write down a one-word clue for Craig. As always, certain Ooh. things that are not allowed, like the names of the author, you know, things one, like that. Oh. One word. Yes. It's so funny, we've done 600 episodes of this show. We've never done this round without someone going, it's one word. One word. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, I always wait for it, like... Uh, Alarm clock. Ooh. It's, it's quite a tense round, Richard, I won't lie to you. Mm. Yeah, I feel it. It's really tense. Yeah. The good thing about the world of rugby mm -hmm. is they don't tend to take the mick out of you. No. They, so that's good. No one would have watched that and... Uh... Literally, I will not um, be torn apart every day <laughs> for 10, 12 years on yeah. the basis of that, yeah. Losing to Tanny Gray. No, they're minute. lovely people. Everyone is in. Craig, you've got to guess the name of a children's book. You've got three words to help you. Tanny, that first word is? Winter. Winter. Second word, Leo? Fawn. Fawn. Oh. And Anne-Marie? Narnia. Narnia. Oh, it's just... It's the most magical... It might be the most magical children's book out there. So what's the answer? It's The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? <laughs> Correct. And who's the point Leo, too? They're all brilliant clues. It's just the minute... Tani wrote that, I just picture them walking through in the winter scene. <laughs> winter. Listen, I can absolutely buy choosing winter over fawn. <laughs> choosing winter over Narnia is a This push, is not but me I, being listen, strategic. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. I know it seems like <laughs> I'm, I'm not being taking it personally, Craig, at all. <laughs> I'm not... You but, think I'm being Machiavellian just because you're leading. Yes, I am, kind of, but only by accident. It does a bit of a pity point, though. So Tani gets the point. Well done, Tani. <laughs> Craig gets the point. Tani gets the point. And Tani, you have now got to guess a children's book. So um, Craig, Leo and Amory will all write you down a word. Hopefully it will lead you to your point. Well done at home. If you got uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Okay, everyone's happy. Tanny, you've got to guess the name of a children's book. You've got three words to help you. Leo, the first word is ravenous. Ravenous. Uh, Anne Marie. Nom nom nom. Nom nom <laughs> nom. And Craig. Feet. Feet. Oh. Ravenous. Nom and feet. Uh, the Hungry Caterpillar. Is it The Very Hungry Caterpillar? 
It is a very hungry <laughs> caterpillar. Uh, who would you like to give a point to, Tanny? It's a bit of a dilemma here, really, isn't it? Go, go with your heart. You see, if I now give the point to Craig, it's going to look really bad, isn't it? It's going to look quite because he's bad. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> because he's feet. Is that why? How many feet does a caterpillar have? It's the first time I think. I mean, <laughs> Craig, <laughs> you have not given Tanny a lot to work with here. I'll say. I that. meant legs. Well, I th think legs. I'm going to give the point to Leo. I'm so to sorry. Leo, wow. No. Okay, didn't see wow. that coming. Yeah. Uh, Leo sorry. gets himself a point. Well That's done, fine. Leo. And Leo, it's now your turn to guess a children's book. Great. Okay, everyone is in. Leo, you've got to guess the name of a children's book. You've got three words to help you. Anne Marie, the first word is? Pigtails. Pigtails. Craig. Tights. Tights. And Tanny? Scandinavian. Scandinavian. Pigtails, tights, Scandinavian. Oh. Um, tights makes me think Pippi Longstocking. Is it Pippi Longstocking? It's exactly what it is. Well played, Leo. Scandinavian. Yeah, Pippi Longstocking. She's Pippi She's Longstocking. Oh, well, nice. Yes, oh, nice. I see. Now, now when you say it like that, that yeah. now my ear, <laughs> my ear for languages has really <laughs> you see, kicked in. Yeah. Yeah, it's kicked oh, in. Clarity. Uh, who would you like to give your point to? Sadly, and I, this is with a heavy heart, a really heavy heart. I'm yeah. gonna have to give it to Craig. Yeah, you have to. Right, tight stockings. That gives you the clue. Why the heavy heart? Well, because, because you didn't it's give so him a point. full of love and joy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. For you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Heavy with okay. it. So it's heavy. Yes, heavy, heavy with heavy. love. Oh, heavy with love. Heavy, heavy with, with love. love. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. No, you've rewritten the rules on heavy heart there. Yeah. That's, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's okay. Play that's with stuff you know, it's, uh, it's with a, language. From the younger generation. You put, <laughs> yeah. you know. Anne Marie, you've got to guess the name of a children's book now. You'd have three words to help you. Written by Craig, Tanny, and Leo. Everybody's in. Uh, Anne-Marie, you've got to guess the name of a children's book. You'd have three words to help you. Craig, the first word is? I hope these words are helping. Trains. Trains. <laughs> OK. Trains. Tanny. Trains. Trains. <laughs> oh. Leo. And just for some sound effects. Choo. Hey, choo-choo. Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas the Tank Engine Yay. is the right answer. Are you going to give a point to Leo or a point to each to Tanny and Craig? Can I see how you've written trains? <laughs> Get marked on a handwriting. We should have put a smiley face. On handwriting. Uh, tanny. No, if you choose trains, I'm going to give you both a point because you <laughs> both you go trains. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. OK, yeah, fine. Yeah, you both get a point. Well done. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the end of the round. Today. Today. That was my handwriting. Let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we? We've only got one round to go. We've got answer smash to go. And here's how we're looking. It's tightened up a lot, hasn't it? Mm. Tanny, you've got six. Craig, you've got seven. Leo 10 and Marie still in the lead with 11 points. How about that? One round to go. We know what it's going to be. It is. Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Is Leo going to make it three in a row or are we going to have a new champion? Let's find out. Your first category is... Comedy actors. Those will be the pictures. Which rock band had UK top 40 hits with Stairway to Heaven and Whole Lot of Love? I was looking for Led Zeppelin de Robson. This one I was looking Same, for. Yeah. Led Zeppelin de Robson. Next clue, next actor. In Roger Kipling's The Jungle Book, what is the name of the principal human character, a boy who is raised by wolves? Nobody. Mowgli's a Tarbuck I was looking for there. Oh. Mowgli, Lisa Tarbuck, Mowgli's a Tarbuck. It's going well so far, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> uh, next clue, next picture. The presenters of which BBC Radio 4 Arts magazine show have included Samira Ahmed, Kirsty Lang and John Wilson? Leo. Front row and Atkinson. Front row and Atkinson. It is. Front row, Rowan Atkinson. Front row and Atkinson. Next category. Lighting. Lighting <laughs> is your category. Those will be the pictures. Which 2005 single was the first UK number one hit for the Arctic Monkeys? Nobody. Let's have a look. I bet you look good on the dance floor lamp. 
Next clue, next picture. In cookery, what four-letter word means both a type of open tart and a Spanish dessert similar to creme caramel? Yes, Leo. Flanton. Oh, well played. Oh, Flanton. very good. It is. Flan and lantern is flanton. Oh, that's good. That's good. Next clue. Next lighting. Which item of headgear is a Formula One driver required to wear underneath their crash helmet? Yes, that is Emery. Balaclava lamp. Balaclava lamp? It is. Well played. Balaclava and lava lamp. Two great answers there from both players at the top end of the studio. Any more categories? <laughs> no more <laughs> categories. <laughs> I know. On Monday, our champion was Leo. On Tuesday, our champion was Leo. On Wednesday, our champion is going down to a tie break <gasps> between Leo Whoa. and Anne Marie. Fingers on buzzers one more time. We are going to have one more answer smash for the two of you. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you're today's winner. It, can I just give it to Leo? If you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer, then your opponent will be the champion. OK? I like the body language of one person going, I don't like this, can I give it to Leo? And Leo go. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Your category is... Plants. That'll be the picture. There'll be a clue above. Correct answer wins it. Incorrect answer loses it. Best of luck to you both. Which 1960 novel by Harper Lee features the lawyer Atticus Finch? Yes, Leo. To Kill a Mockingbird of Paradise. To Kill a Mockingbird of Paradise? Is correct. Leo wins three in a row. Oh. Three out of three for Leo Wright. I would Reich. have given it to you anyway. Well played. Yeah. The stand-up <laughs> stand comedians always do well. They don't normally do this well. Three out of three. Another prize, Leo. What oh. would you like to go with your shower curtain I'm, and your I'm class? furnishing my home. I think I'm going to stick with the water bottle. You're going with the water bottle? <laughs> the wa what I a love... disappointing collection of prizes you're getting together. No, I like liquids uh, yeah, I and it. it's good to stay on theme. I think. It is good. You know what? It's really good to the say. The theme is liquid. And to accessorise. Yeah. Lovely. Leo wins the House of Games water bottle. Uh, weekly leaderboard's going to look good for Leo as well. Two days to go. We've got double points Friday. On Friday, Tenny got five. Craig and Anne-Marie were seven. He's got a five-point lead, though, Leo. Very big lead to have at this stage of the show. Leo, five points ahead. Three in a row. Is he going to get four in a row tomorrow? We need him to have a major crisis tomorrow. Oh, that would be nice. It would be, wouldn't <laughs> it? Oh, it would be lovely to see Leo you go know, through a major crisis. I, we'll help you through it. No, I'm overdue, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's gone too well for too long, hasn't yeah. it? Yes. Thank you all so much. Unlucky Anne-Marie losing a tie-break there. Should we do it at the same time, same place tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Look forward to that very much. We'll see you as well on the House of Games. <laughs>